Volunteer High School. Thank you very much, Molly. Now I'd like to introduce Mr. Sean Banner. Sean's a plant manager for Cardinal Glass, the Greenland plant. Hey, uh, good afternoon, everyone. I really just want to say uh, thank you for coming out and uh, supporting us on this day. I want to uh, really just uh, tell everyone that uh, really do appreciate uh, everyone being here today, and uh, the support is tremendous. Uh, just want to say thank you again uh, to everyone. Thank you for this wonderful, beautiful day, and uh, uh, on behalf of Cardinal Glass Industries, uh, we have the Cardinal FG Company plant here and the Cardinal CG Company plant here on location. And uh, on behalf of all of Cardinal Glass Industries, uh, I just want to let people know that we're very, very proud to be here. Uh, we're very happy and very proud to, uh, to be part of the community and, and to participate again in the community. and, and uh, and all on behalf of our uh, 700 plus employees, uh, just want to say thank you again. I've got a little list of uh, people. I wanna, I'll read it so I don't miss anybody. That uh, want to say a particular thanks to, and uh, in particular, I want to thank all our cardinal military veterans and retirees. Uh, we've got a lot of retirees here, and a lot of veterans, and a lot of both. So, thank you guys. For, uh, help make uh, this plant uh, what it's been over many, many years. Uh, thank you to, uh, very most importantly, the Cardinal Glass employees. Uh, this flag was really a suggestion that came from the floor, uh, the plant, uh, that people were very, very happy and very proud to be working with an American-owned company. And that's a big change from, from things in the past. And people are very proud of it and very proud to see this flag here. Uh, so thank you to the Greenland employees. Thank you to uh, Bell Helicopter. Thank you to the Kingsport Chamber of Commerce, Volunteer High School, uh, Junior ROTC, Cherokee High School, Junior ROTC, and uh, Volunteer High School Band, uh, Churchill VFW, the Rogersville American Legion, the Tri-Cities Area Vietnam Veterans, and the Hawkins County Sheriff's Department and uh, Kelly Dingus for taking the picture. So I don't think I missed anybody. So I just want to thank everyone for being here again and thank you for your support uh, of Cardinal. Thank you, Sean. Uh, I've asked some of our veterans that have served overseas to come up and talk briefly about what the flag means to them. So the first veteran, Butch Hatcher. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, as he said, my name is Butch Hatcher. Uh, I worked here for eight and a half years. Um, I'm a proud Navy veteran, proud Cardinal employee, and most of all, I'm a proud American. This flag means the world. Uh, while planning this event, they, they asked me if I'd speak. I said, sure, shouldn't be a problem. I got thinking about it. What am I actually going to say? So I started looking and thinking back. I said, the American flag is an iconic symbol of what America stands for. And its design incorporates many, many of these aspects. It takes, uh, for instance, the different uh, parts of the flag. The red and white stripes, uh, they represent the states or the 13 original uh, states of the Union. You got the 50 stars, they represent the current 50 states. Then you got the colors. Each of the colors represents an aspect or an ideal of what America has been founded on. The red represents valor. America is valor. The white represents liberty and purity. You're not going to find it any more so than in America. The blue represents loyalty. America is loyal. But all these features together 
in the current design, and you have one of the most, if not the most, recognized symbols of freedom in the world. I've seen this beautiful flag flying over office buildings, schools, entire fleets, and all oceans and seas of the world. And it still means the same thing to me. It brings goosebumps to my arms and a quiver in my voice. This flag is America, and we are the best. And it's a wonderful thing to be American-owned, American-operated, and I want to thank Roger O'Shaughnessy, the Cardinal Glass Industries Group, for purchasing this plant and bringing it back to East Tennessee and Southwest Virginia. Thank you very much. Mr. Jeremy Ford, who is still active. Start first class with the 854 at or at uh, Fort Eustis, Virginia. I've had the honor for 22 years to wear this on my right shoulder. The one thing that it really meant the most to me, whether I was in the sandbox for 15 months, nine months, or doing the you know, other deployments or even just doing the three-week ATs, whether it's Panama or somewhere like that. Every time that I felt like I was homesick or I could look down at this and it reminded me of home. Every time that that plane landed at the airport, I could look up at that flag and it would give me a sense of accomplishment. Uh, not finality, but knowing that I've, I've done something good and, and I'm home. So really this, this flag really means more about, you know, feeling a sense of home to me. Regardless of where I am in the world or where I'm going, I've always got a piece of home with me. Thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. Otis Trout. United States Navy veteran. Thinking about what the flag means to me, I don't have a quick, simple answer. It probably means different things depending on what I see. Uh, later this month, in November, you see them lining downtown, spotted all over the cemeteries. It means honor and sacrifice. We've got a bunch of people that are willing to stand up and say, I'll go so you don't have to, so your kids don't have to. Sacrifice, a lot of them didn't come back. When I see it on the shoulder patch of a soldier digging a hole in some cut off a place I've never heard of, it means security, and it means commitment. Security, I'm going to sleep well tonight knowing he's on watch. Commitment, he's not sleeping tonight. His safe place is that hole he dug. Then there's time. That's the ball game. They bring out a 200-foot flag. Nearly everybody in the stadium is standing at attention, and it means pride. We do live in the best country on the planet. Then there's times when it means unity. We have all of these people, different backgrounds, different desires, much different futures. We're all together, same place, at the same time, for the same reason. There she is. Thank you. Last but not least, Mr. Joe Broadwater, Joe's combat veteran, also the local union president here, uh, the steel workers, representing many of the employees that work here. 
that's going to be a hard act to follow. And most people ask me today, said, what are you going to say, Joe? What are you going to say? Have you practiced anything? I never practice what I feel with my heart. Look up there above me right now. Look at that. My age and time was a whole different time. I've actually seen people burn those. And I think to myself, holy cow, how did that happen? And I see the world we're in now, and some people say, man, I'm going to give up. I'm going to give up. Look at these kids here. My goodness, who could give up? We're the best country in the world, the very best. I've been around it twice in my life. I don't even tell my son some of the things I saw. And I don't want to. But he just made an excellent point. When you see that on the news and you see that patch, and I was in the Navy. I was in the Navy that the Navy hated. I was in a CB unit. And I see some Marines here, and I served with a grunt. Yes, yeah, do. That's right. That's where it's at. And I think about that often. But when you see these kids out there, and they line up and they go on, it's amazing. And in my units we had overseas, the two most important people were the medics and the chaplains. I see a man over here that had chaplain on his jacket. And I heard this a long time ago, and now they've made a phrase out of it. There's two people that died for you to be here today. One of them's Christ, and one of them's a soldier. Please don't ever forget that. And I'll never have forgot what that old chaplain told me. And that's how it is. I'd like to thank all of you today for coming. I appreciate that so much. I appreciate these kids here. I went down the road and waved at them. They all waved back. They didn't. I had my bibbed overalls on, handkerchief on my head, and there they went to waving. Thank you. Thank you all very much. And Tom, Tom told me, he said, Joe, we've got another meeting at 2.30. And I said, well, hell, Tom, I won't be done by then. <laughs> so I wanted to let you know that. And also I want to say people don't realize the shape our plant was in before Cardinal bought us. I've worked here 40 years of my life, and I saw what was coming. And I got to speak right out there on the grass after Cardinal bought us. It's been amazing, amazing what a turnaround we've had. I, I am so happy. I am so happy for younger people I, I, that, that I just can't express myself sometimes. And we talked about this flagpole, and as most of you look up and see, it's 20 foot taller than Pals and Food City. So there you go. So I thank Sean for that. I thank him for everything we've done. I'd like to thank the members I represent and this ground crew that done this amazing job to get this ready. I thank you all very much. And, and all I can say is, God bless America, the greatest country in the whole world. No comparison. None. Thank you, Tom. What Joe didn't tell you was, I, I told him that's why I scheduled the 2.30 meeting. <laughs> Folks, that's pretty much it. There's coolers full of water. It's warm today. It's one of the first warm days. On behalf of Cardinal Glass Industries, thank you to everybody, the junior ROTC, the volunteer band, young lady that sang, all the veterans and all of the employees and everybody that showed up today. Thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. We're proud to be Hawkins County. We're proud to have this flag flying in the front yard. You're all welcome to come by and talk and visit and stay as long as you want to. Thank you all again for being here. Have a good afternoon.